back. I wanted to to quickly show you some plotting in the Jupyter Notebook environment. I will begin by saying I hate plotting stuff in the Jupyter Notebook environment. All the people who have these incredible charts that they've made with matplotlib and all these other libraries, <clears throat> man, kudos to you. But I've been using Tableau for years, and I'm sorry, I will be done before you even get your axes set up any day of the week. I will be done. The data will be distributed, and it will be easy to update. Um, that being said, let me just show you how to do some basic stuff here. And one thing I did want to do is, remember how we took the, uh, we, we did these time computations? I just want to do that again down here and get, um, I wanted to get the relative gain in feet. So I wanted to get the prior elevation, and it was going to be the uh, shift on the elevation, and uh, elevation gained since prior. And that was going to be the uh, prior elevation minus the, and I've spelled that wrong, elevation feet. And if that's not making sense, just go step by step and figure it out. All right. I don't know how I gained negative elevation there, but that's fine as long as it appears to be going up. So here are the basics of, of matplotlib. I Googled this. I copied and pasted it. Um, you know, you make a figure, you can create axes, then you can say, you can call the plot method on the data frame column, which is a series. You could tell it what kind of plot you want, the color, what axes it should go on. And what I have here, right now I have feet and meters, which is kind of dumb. But if I have, you know, say elevation feet and elevation gain since prior, notice I'm using a slightly different notation. I'm not using the, uh, the dictionary style notation, like, you know, bracket key. I'm just using dot. And you can do that if you don't have spaces in your, in your key. Um, so what is this? This is feet. And this is uh, gained since prior. So, you know, here we go. Um, we're going to the top. It's around 2,000 feet. This is the, the kind of the worst part of it. And I guess when you analyze this data, you're sort of seeing that as it gets the steepest, I'm sort of gaining the most feet uh, since the prior uh observation from the Garmin GPS. Now here, this is sort of the slow, you know, you can kind of move on this first part, which is why I'm actually gaining a pretty good amount here, because I'm actually jogging a little bit. When you get to this part, though, you got you got to be a little conservative, right? Because you know, you're going to get to this, which is terrible. So you just want to kind of go steady pace right there so that all makes sense now again like I said I don't like these plots so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, try to get this into a different environment here uh, crack open tableau data paste I'm just pasting in data from my clipboard all right now we're in business here um, and this is a, a tool you got to buy. Uh, it's a professional business intelligence tool. And let's just see how it did here. So we have the time. And notice how easy it is to sort of expand and drill down into these uh, very, very uh, narrow buckets here. So we've got time. Um, one thing Tableau gives you pretty nice is number of records. So and you can transpose really easily. Um, so when I look at the, um, I have it now based on hour and minute and the number of records that were clocked at that point. If I wanted to throw in a plot for elevation, I could do it right here. Uh, if I wanted to put that on the same axis, I could. 
And since there is going to be a very good correlation there, think about the scales, right? It's automatically adjusting the scales. I could say hmm, synchronize axes or something. Um, no, I can't. But let's just somehow differentiate what's happening here. Um, and what is the elevation here? It doesn't make any sense to sum the elevation, right? Because we're going to be summing the elevation within every minute. That doesn't make any damn sense. A better way to interpolate where I'm at is probably going to be the average elevation. And now that makes more sense. Um, <laughs> we were summing it before. So you can, you know, in Tableau, you can kind of change some default properties, um, aggregation, usually numeric values default to uh, a sum. But in this case, I changed it in the uh, row pill here to do a, uh, you know, an aggregation there. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Time since prior, we could, uh, what is time since prior? This is just a text column. It's not being read in as a time. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's how you would do something like that in Tableau. And now back to the Garmin data. All right, next time we're going to cover uh, grouping things, which I, I did do earlier here myself, but I did not walk through it with you. Actually, let's take a look at it in Tableau. What I did here, I have something called groups. And what I did was I essentially told um, pandas to bin the uh, rows based upon some values. So if we just look at the number of records, I think I told, gave it 10 bins and, and based it on the elevation in feet. So let's think about that for a second. So what could we do with these? You could add more charts. And there we go. So we see uh, each bin is based on the altitude and you can see each observation and, and set of data is going to belong to its own unique bin. Um, so that's kind of interesting. If you just wanted to kind of zero in on some specific bins, like the top, maybe the last two there. Can I go to second? I can go to second. So if we go to groups and all, let me just get rid of, uh, get rid of that. So now the, the thing is really extended. So if we go fit width, you actually kind of get that back. We don't want the average elevation anymore because we're going down to the second. Um, maybe some. That's interesting. I actually don't know. Why would elevation not be working here? So let's say elevation. We don't want that. Let's put on the rows again here. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be working. So, yeah, this is by the minute, time since prior, elevation gain since prior, and there we go. So, you can actually see the two plots there again if you want to go back to uh, uh, dual axes. And maybe, maybe we want to change the elevation to a uh, like an area plot. Maybe we want to change the color of it to something lighter. Whoops. Or at least something different. Okay, that's interesting. All right, that was a little digression. A little easier to use Tableau. Use a nice convenience method of uh, DF1 to clipboard. Popped it in there and got to doing some uh, some quick and dirty analysis. Maybe we'll come back to that at another point in time.